A few weeks back, Sydney Sweeney was spotted in the Key West area hitting up a local bar for a little night of karaoke. But we now know she was in the area scoping out real estate to add to her portfolio. Her latest purchase is a jaw-dropping one for a young actress who's only 26 years old. The house has six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, a chef's kitchen, a 520 bottle wine room, a 330 gallon aquarium, an elevator, a home gym, a games room, and carpool parking. We'll touch on this house more a little later on in this video. Google searches for Sydney Sweeney have skyrocketed by 180% over the past year. And with her growing fame, her bank account is getting a serious boost too. She's been putting some of that hard-earned cash into some jaw-dropping real estate, which we'll cover in today's video. My name's Kara the Vampire Slayer. Let me know who you want me to feature next and let's get into it. Sydney Sweeney kicked off her property portfolio with a charming Tudor home in LA, which she snagged for $4.3 million in late 2021. Check out this cozy Tudor beauty here. Speaking about becoming a first time homeowner, Sydney had this to say. I always thought that when I turned 18, I'd have all this money and I'd buy back my parents' house and put them all back together again. And I never was able to and I never did. So now being able to be in a house is such an incredible, humbling, amazing accomplishment that I still can't believe I was able to pull off. Sweeney's historic home, however, has been described as a rare offering in that the five bedroom, four bathroom property was last on the market in 1972. It sits in the trendy LA neighborhood of Westwood and was previously purchased for just $85,000 back in 1972, meaning the family that sold it cashed in a huge retirement fund. Set atop a hill, the Tudor style residence may have appealed to the Washington state native with its sprawling garden, quaint lodge, which leads out to a brick patio, outdoor fireplace and barbecue area. Inside, while the decor isn't adorned with all these modern bells and whistles and, you you know, the sharp lines and white walls that Hollywood homes often have, it does summon a quaint and homey charm. I for one really like it. The living room with its exposed ceiling beams features a huge fireplace. It also appears to have original hardwood floors, which continues into the dining room where there's also a chandelier and windows that overlook the funicular. The master bedroom's also very roomy with a red brick fireplace, built-in window seat and vaulted wooden ceiling. It's a bit of a fixer upper and it's still a bit of a hike to get up to the front door. So whether or not Sweeney decides to update the three 3,200 square foot property is anyone's guess, but she won't have tons of free time as she moved on to buy more property very quickly. Following that, Sydney bought a modest home that her great grandmother once owned for $3 million back in her native Spokane, Washington, a touching nod to her family roots. This one is a cute two bedroom house that they lived in. Her grandma was born in it, her mom was born in it, and then as the kids got older, they built on the property another home. Sydney told this to Kelly Clarkson, and she added, when my great grandpa passed away and my great grandmother got old, they just couldn't afford to keep it anymore. Last year, I called up the owners and said, I want to buy my great grandma's house back. But things heated up last summer a lot more when she bought a fixer upper mansion in Bel Air, California for a cool $6.2 million. This place looks like it's ready to be used to film a horror movie, but Sydney or her fiance see some long-term potential. This house sits in Bel Air surrounded by countless other homes, all valued at $20 million or more. The mansion sits on 1.25 acres of heavily wooded land that one could argue is overgrown. And inside there's five bedrooms and four baths. She won a bidding war for the home paying $250,000 over the original asking price. The home was last purchased in 1984 by the son of famous screenwriter Delmer Davis for only $350,000. There are no pictures of the interior, so it's likely this house will be a complete teardown and rebuild. It seems her hubby Jonathan Devino and Sydney herself know what they're doing and putting her money to work through good investments. Hold on to your hats though, because Sydney's latest purchase is a real showstopper. She's splurged $13.5 million on a mansion in Summerland Key, Florida, 25 miles outside Key West. According to page six, this is the priciest sale in the town over the past six months doubling the previous record of $6.6 .6 million from February. 
This piece of property offers her and her business mogul fiance, Jonathan Devino, a lot of vacation time. Built in 2015, the six bedroom mansion sits on a triangular lot facing the water on two sides. The listing said it was a masterful union of architectural splendor with the casual atmosphere that defines the Keys lifestyle. Highlights of this so-called splendor include an impressive porte cochere out front, 19 foot ceilings inside, and an infinity pool out back. The split layout has a breezeway in the middle, leaving the three bedroom main residence detached from an equally luxurious three bedroom guest house. The large kitchens flanked by windows with views of swaying palm trees. It sits beside a dark walnut bar, a breakfast nook, and a formal dining area with chandeliers. All things considered, Sweeney did manage to score a bit of a deal. The mansion was initially listed in May 2022 for almost $18 million, so she sent a 25% discount. Anyways, after looking at Sydney Sweeney's real estate, that is going to wrap up today's video. Let me know who you want me to feature next on here and I'll see you all next time. Bye!